the friends. I'm getting to the end of week three of my mini cut and I have so much I wanna share with you. I'm gonna give you an update. I'm gonna be showing you my leg workout, my cardio routine, my biggest struggle, what's helping me get through this, and I'm gonna do a weigh-in, but first, I am going to show you a low calorie recipe because I'm craving chicken Alfredo. So I'm gonna show you this quick and easy chicken broccoli Alfredo recipe that I whipped up to help me satisfy my cravings and kind of help me coast through the last week and a couple days of this mini cut. So this is what we need. We needed some chicken and I'm using the Italian style chicken strips already cooked from great value. You needed some low-cal noodles, and I got these rice ramen noodles from Costco. I've always wanted to try them. They come in little, like, cakes, they're called, and it's 250 calories for 70 grams, which is really good for noodles. Yeah, and what I love, like, it's eight grams of protein per cake, and look at this. It comes already portioned, so I cooked mine and Sassy's in separate pots because then you don't have to weigh anything out. We also need some broccoli, and I'm just using some frozen broccoli and I microwaved this for about six minutes half the package and I did two tablespoons of water in it the chicken I just put in a bowl and put in the microwave for a minute and then I boiled the rice ramen and I just followed the package on there so whatever noodles you get and then I also need you also need an alfredo mix what I love about the alfredo sauce mixes is you can make them lower calorie depending on what you use to make it. So I use three quarters of a cup of almond milk instead of regular milk and two tablespoons of light margarine instead of the butter and it makes it even lower cal. So you basically whisk that together stirring constantly on medium high heat until it comes to a boil. Then you reduce the heat, simmer for three minutes and that's it. And now we have everything ready to go. So I'm going to put this together. That's what you get for the noodles. And that's actually a really decent size for noodles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a third of the cup of the sauce and that's what it looks like all ready to go. Go like that and I'm gonna pour that in there. And then I'm gonna do two thirds of a cup of the broccoli. And I'm just gonna pour it all in this bowl here stir it up and then of course we'll do like a salt and pepper to taste i'm just going to stir this all up first okay so i like that now i'm going to plate it i'm going to add my chicken i want a hundred grams of chicken okay that is my chicken broccoli alfredo low cal and i can't wait to eat it okay so calories for this whole dish 470 calories 10 grams of fat 60 grams of carbs and 32 grams of protein. Now that's huge because chicken Alfredo is like a ton of calories. So this is gonna really help me satisfy my cravings and you know, save a lot of calories so I can meet my goals. So let's get some noodles and some broth. Got a little bit of everything. Are you ready? Mmm. These are really good. Wow. You wouldn't even know they're rice ramen noodles. Oh wow. That, that's really, you're gonna love this sassy. Okay, I'm gonna manja this up. That means eat in Italian. And then I'm gonna show you my leg workout. And then I'll do the check-in and show you the weigh-in. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, cuties, I'm gonna share my leg workout with you. So I've been doing this leg workout once a week. Leg day is the only day I don't do cardio because I would be too tired to give it my all in the leg workout if I did both. So I start with a couple minutes of warm up, some stretches, some body weight squats and stuff, and then I start with my first move, which is lying hamstring curls. So I lay face down on the ground and I put a dumbbell in between the arches of my feet and I start with a 30 pound dumbbell. I do one set, 10 reps, and I use my glutes and my hamstrings to squeeze and lift the weight up slowly and then slowly lower it back down, trying to keep my hips pinned to the floor the whole time. And my second set, I do 
eight reps with a 40 pound dumbbell. If you've never done them before, like start with really lightweight cause I built up to that and they're kind of weird at first. So like I did five to 10 pounds to start. My second move is walking lunges with dumbbells. I use 15 pound dumbbells and I do two sets of 15 reps per leg for a total of 30 reps per set. And basically I stand as if I'm going to walk with a dumbbell on each side, like in my hands, palms facing in, and I lunge forward or walk forward with the weights. And I go as low as I can, keeping my core tight, and I lower my knee as low to the floor as I can. I bring the dumbbell slightly forward over the knee that's like lunging forward. And that I find puts more emphasis on my glutes and my quads. And I slowly lower myself down and then I push through my heel and I squeeze with my quads and my glutes to push myself back up. And I slightly lean forward as I come out of it and I'm always keeping my core tight. And I find a really get good glute and quad action when I do that. Third move, I do Bulgarian split squats. I use one dumbbell and I put my foot, one foot up on the bench and whatever leg I'm doing the squat with, I hold the weight in the opposite hand. So if I'm doing the split squat with the left hand or with the left leg, I put the weight in my right hand and I do two sets of 10 reps per leg. And I do take a break, a 30 second rest in between because they're pretty tough for me. So I'll do like one leg rest for 30 seconds and then do the other leg. And I just lower myself as low as I can, very slow because I find slow, it can really connect with the muscle. And then again, I use my glutes and my quad to really squeeze myself back up. And then I always keep my quads and glutes engaged when I lower myself down, always keeping my core tight. Number four, I do barbell squats. I load the bar with 25 pound plate per side. And then I do 12 reps, two sets, 12 reps. And what I do is um, when I'm ready to squat, I kind of keep my toes pointed out a little bit and I sit back as if I'm in a chair and then I keep my core tight and I squeeze myself up as if I'm coming out of a hole. And then, you know, I lower myself back down again, sit as if I'm sitting in a chair and then push myself out of the hole. And then the last one, it's kind of like a burnout sort of move for me. And I, I do dumbbell glute bridges. So I lay on the ground, I use a 30 pound dumbbell, like use whatever weight is comfortable for you. I don't put a pad underneath to protect my hips. You can do that if you want. Um, I hold the 30 pound dumbbell on my lap and I use my glutes to squeeze myself up, squeeze my glutes at the top of the movement, lower them really slowly to the ground. And just before my beam hits the floor, I push myself back up again and I do two sets of 20 reps. And that's my leg workout. And man, you are tired and sore and you worked it by the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's check-in time. So I've been doing a four week mini cut. I'm at the end of week three. This is the last day of week three. And the purpose of this, like my goal for this cut was I wanted to lose some body fat, get as lean as I possibly could while keeping my muscle. It wasn't necessarily about getting a lower number on a scale. I more wanted to look really lean. And the reason is because at the end of the four weeks, I'm going to a family event and I wanted to look really fit for it. So I started at 1,854 calories a day. Then I went to 1,735 calories. And yesterday I started at 1,703 calories a day. And I'm gonna stay there for the remainder of the cut. And I did it very slowly. And how I did it was slow and steady and pulling things that I didn't really think I would miss too much. Like I took away the dip with my veggies. I took the cereal away from my, um, Pro, my cereal topping off my protein ice cream. I removed that just because it's just a short period of time. And then I made little swaps that I really didn't notice a difference with. So instead of barbecue sauce on my 
locale pizza. I've been doing hot salsa and wow does it ever taste good. I don't miss the barbecue sauce and this is way lower calorie and the spiciness gives it a kick. So I feel like I'm not missing out. And then I switched out my butter on my toast for breakfast for light margarine. And so I still get to have like a buttery type thing on my bread, but it's saving me about 32 calories every day. So, and I don't really miss the butter. So those are like the little things that I've been doing that way. My cardio right now is six days a week, one hour. So one hour a day, six days a week, every day except leg day. And what I've been doing for cardio is I either go for a walk outside or I'll do 30 minutes on my recumbent bike followed by 30 minutes on my treadmill. And what I do on the bike is there's like a fat burning program. Basically it takes me through a little bit of a warm up, and then I pedal slowly at 13 resistance and then I go on a cool down. And then on the treadmill I do nine incline and two speed. And what I love doing, the best way to burn fat is low intensity, steady state cardio. So that's what I do, slow and steady. And for the days that I don't feel like it, because right now, like, I'm feeling pretty good, but my biggest struggle this week has been my energy. I'm noticing like, I'll eat, I'll get a, a little bit of energy, and then it goes, quite down quite fast and then when I eat I get a second win but I've been being more gentle on myself giving myself more rest I've been giving myself more time to do things because sometimes it takes me a while and I've been two times a week a little more gentle in cardio where I call it mall cardio I'll go to stores or to the mall and walk around that way so I still get my cardio in but it's a little more gentler on my body but all the other days um, it's helping me the lack of energy because it's making me stick to the pact I made with myself, which is push myself, listen to my body, push myself past my limits when I know I can do it, but pull back when I need to. And I've really been sticking to that. And that's why this cut, I've been having so much success and I'm so proud of myself because I'm pushing where I know I can, but I'm also being gentle where in the past I would be really hard on myself and make it more of a punishment. So I've really been treating myself well in this cut. And then the things that are working to help me get through, um, I could not be getting through my workouts without like a couple of supplements like HTLT steps. I am sponsored. I call it Huddle. Um, Code Nicole will save you 10%, but this Ecti Builder, I take two caps before my weight training and I'm training three times a week right now. And this has really helped me keep my strength in the gym and keep my muscle fullness and my size. Usually when I do mini cuts, I will get really flat, like I'll lose all my muscle and I'll feel very weak in the gym, but I've been able to push it in a calorie deficit without a lot of energy because this has really helped me with my strength and also pre-workout. I am lacking in energy and this stuff is really actually quite strong. It has um, the no itch, which is the grape candy, and then the itch one, which is the beta alanine, which is the sour rainbow candy, and I like switching between both, but it's so strong. I only need half a scoop and I take it about half hour before I work out and it gives me the focus and energy that I need to get through my workout. And um, I have lost 130 pounds and kept it off for eight years. If you want to know my exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, check out my weight loss eBooks. You can buy them. Code Nicole will save you 10% and the links are down below. Now, here are the things that are really helping me get by. Um, this sparkling water, every kind, but this is my favorite right now, the AHA Lime and Watermelon. And I've been drinking five bottles of water a day and switching out one of my waters for one of these. And wow, it just makes me feel like it's a treat. It's also helping fill my belly a bit because I am getting hungrier as my cut goes on. But that's okay, because at the end of the cut, I, I do have a goal. I am gonna allow myself a day where I eat anything I want, satisfy all my cravings, and then you know go back on 
um, my normal plan. In Canada, I'll just add, like we get, it seems like we get a lot of advertisements for bubbly on, you know, TV, or whatever. And we hadn't heard of this. And this is actually the AHA is much better tasting in our opinion. Yeah. And there's, um, this one is our newest one that we tried, but we like the blueberry pomegranate too. Also diet pop. And I don't know, you guys might laugh, but like every night, Sassy and I've had diet pop one every night for a long time, but in this little lean out that we're doing, we've been having it in a mug. And this is Hank, our old dog. Um, he's passed away, but we like the little mug. But anyway, we drink the diet pop with three ice cubes. I don't know why three, I think it makes it taste better. Every night we sip it outside together and it just feels like an experience and it's, there's no food needed. It's just a lovely treat. It feels so nice to just sip a pop. We also have been doing this. We don't get Diet Coke with lime in Canada. I don't know if you still get it in the States, but it used to be my favorite pop. So what I'm doing now, I get the Coke Zero and I put squeezes of real lime in it and it, again, feels like a treat. And the last thing that's really been helping me through, water bangs. I know they're not called water bangs, but I call them that. So, oh my goodness. Like today, Kyle and I are like, our water just doesn't, we just don't want water today. So we already had a water bang because it just makes you feel like you're having a treat and that you're not dieting. And it's a much easier way to get water down, especially on days where you don't want it. So we bought a whole bunch of these. There's a store in our mall that carries American ones. And this blue raspberry lemonade is like our favorite right now. Um, so anyway, those are the things getting me through. Weight training, like I said, I am doing three times a week, shoulders and triceps on one day, back and biceps on another, and a leg day. I showed you my leg day because it is different than the one that you've seen before. The other two workouts you've already seen, so I'm not gonna repeat them, but you did get to see my leg day. And now we'll come to the results part. So I am feeling great. I'm super excited. When I started the mini cut, I was 147.4 pounds and I weighed in this morning and I was 140. 5.8 which means I'm down 1.6 pounds and this is a bonus because I really was going for lean and I've been looking and feeling leaner every single day and I still have my full muscle and I'll show you in a second um, why we like and to do that now is just because um, in the past when you when you cut your calories too fast you lose a lot of muscle and we were sick of like losing weight but looking the same yeah the thing is like because I already have loose skin from my massive weight loss, when I lose muscle, when I'm leaning out, I just get flappy, loose skin. But when I keep my muscle, it makes my skin still look toned and, That's and a, full. That's a quick difference between leaning out and losing weight. Yeah, like um, leaning out is more like losing body fat, where losing weight means you see the number on the scale go down. But it's a bonus that I lost 1.6 pounds. And I am literally like, I'm 39, I'm gonna be 40 in the fall, and I am the most fit, I'm the leanest I've ever been with the most muscle I've ever had. I've been lower weight before, but I've never been this lean with this much muscle, and I'm really proud of myself because I've never been this fit in my entire life. So um, I'll just uh, show you now that I've done the weigh-in, I'll show you like what I look like, and then I'll show you like the muscle and stuff. Okay, so here, um, this is like not flexed or anything, but you can see like my um, 11 lines are starting to come in. I've got like that hourglassy thing going on here. I'm really proud of myself. Like my legs are leaning out. Um, so this is what I look like from the front. The side. And again, like I'm really proud of this is really coming in. I have really leaned out there. And um, this is the back. And then I'll do them. Um, now I'll flex Whoa. and show you that and then I'll show you from the front. So now I'm flexing in my abs and you can really see like I am really proud of how lean like I've come in. Like I've kept my muscle which is so unusual. So I'm really proud of myself in this cut and um, yeah so I just wanted to show you guys like and 
what I, I learn and what I always want to pass on and one of the biggest points of this video is slow and steady wins the race. Even in this mini cut, I have been pulling back slowly and making small changes and swaps where I don't notice and I don't feel deprived. And I've been including things that I enjoy like the diet pop, the water bings. So it's about not treating weight loss as a, as a punishment and about really listening to your body giving yourself a break when your body's saying it needs it, but also pushing yourself when you know that you can get more out of yourself and loving what you're doing. I, the low-cal meals, like the low-cal chicken Alfredo, all those things are all helping me stick to what I'm doing and I'm really proud of myself and I just, I hope you guys get inspired to love what you're doing, not treat it as a punishment and know that you can love your food and love your exercise it doesn't have to be hard. You I'll, can make it easier. I'll add one thing to listen to your body in the gym. So if you're regular training, if the weights feel like you're dieting, you're trying to lose body fat and the weights feel extra heavy or it's a real struggle to get through the exercise, it probably means you're pulling your food too fast. Yeah. You should be able to get through and push with the same intensity and the same weight and the same strength the entire lean out. That's a really good point and like, um, I still am pushing the same weight. I might need to take more rest in between each set. With the Acme but, Builder, it's insane. Like we're yeah. actually getting stronger in a deficit, which is very, very That's rare. Very rare. The Acme Builder really works for us. The friends, check out this vid and this vid for more sustainable, fun weight loss tips so you can see how Sass and I, because we both lost the same amount of weight, kept it off for the same amount of time. We're both leaning out and looking cute. You want to know how to have fun, enjoy your journey and life and your food and not make weight loss a punishment. Watch that one, watch that one and keep watching this and thumbs up the vid if you liked it and I love you and I'll catch you in the next vid. Cue to Ruth me. Peace. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here, heart and mindset. Bye through it.